welcome back to another episode of Culpeper County Parks and Recreation, bringing to you today uh, another crafty creation, which is going to be seasonal, inspired by Halloween, and um, we're going to do uh, a couple of different um, but easy and simple things that you can do to um, with the kids to decorate. Um, and usually find things that you have around the house or maybe you pick up to have on hand for uh, Halloween and Christmas and so on. So what you need for this is a pumpkin ghost uh, luminary. You need a white cup, um, an LED tea light, and a Sharpie or a paint pen, black. Um, doesn't have to be black, but just to keep it simple and ghost-like and monochromatic. Um, and I have here a handy uh, owl, all, an awl, uh, so that I can punch a hole so that you can actually stick the nose in. And what I'm going to do is actually start by doing that. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put that in there very, you know, you don't want to mash too hard because obviously you don't want to break the um, the paper in the cup. But once you get a hole started, which is what you were needed to, to do, is to take this, insert inside the cup, and just try to thread it through. And again, very gently pop it through the hole, like so. And then kind of maybe neaten the, where you've torn through the paper there. And you have, so far, you have a nose. So we're thinking ghosts, um, two spooky eyes and a spooky mouth. Uh, take your painter's pen. And you can do this in any order you would like. If you prefer to draw the face on and then put the nose in, um, I just choose to use the nose as my centerpiece for the face itself. Um, so let's see, what types of eyes do we want to do? I'm going to do two round eyes like this. And you could also use paint. Now, of course, this plastic cup has a laminated, shiny surface here. Um, but... Um, yeah, so paint and a brush, if that works for you. And what I think would be neat is if you were to make several of these. So if you get yourself several cups and several tea lights, you're good to go. And you can just line them up. You can string them and make garland, whatever you like. Uh, and just experiment with the faces. If you're a person that likes to pre-plan, you could certainly draw it ahead of time, and then once you're happy with your design, then you can transfer it and just duplicate it onto the cup. Um, I'm gonna make some angry, this angry guy. All right, and there we go. And you just take the time to color in now this has a fine tip, but perhaps if it were one of those Sharpies that have um, more of a uh, thick tip, might make things a lot easier. But you know, pretty much once you think you're done, which I think I will, will be at this point, all you need to do now is illuminate or eliminate. So let's see. Let me just make sure. Since this is still drying, I'm, I want to be careful not to touch it. But you basically can turn on the light and there's a very simple ghost for you. We have another guy over here that can join in the fun. Let's see. Just make sure I can turn on the light here. There we go. You could even add hair if you wanted to, fur, feathers, anything you'd like to make them, uh, you know, provide a little more interest. But this is very minimalistic, very simple. And there you go, paper cup 
ghost luminaries. So we thank you very much. Uh, please be sure to stay in touch with us, Culpeper County Parks and Recreation. You can find our phone number and email um, listed here on this tutorial. Um, send us your suggestions, your photos, um, and your thoughts, and we hope you enjoy. See you next time.